Hello everyone, welcome to the latest episode in the Finley Stanley Media vlog series. Today we're going to be going retro again and talking about Polaroid photography. So the first sort of um, introduction I had to Polaroid photography were uh, through two people. One was my older brother Jake who I got a few Polaroid cameras and sort of experimented with a lot of different types of film. He started getting a lot of ones of us in different situations, like when me, him and I were for siblings and the rest of our family were hanging out. We captured a lot of nice moments on his camera. And the other was Nicky Wire from the Manic Street Preachers, who's got a big love for Polaroid film and like is always posting it on the Manic Street Preachers Instagram. Yeah, Jake got me a Polaroid camera as a birthday present. It's an old one, it's like second hand from eBay, but it does a really good job. I started taking photos with it. I remember the first ones I took myself were the South Bank in London by the River Thames. I just loaded it up, put it in the camera, and then I saw the bridges around there. I thought, these probably look nice on film. I took them and they came out lovely. I was really happy with them. And that was kind of the start of the adventure. I started to get more and more packets of film. I'd love to just capture days out, fun things, hanging out with mates. Similar to how I do with Super 8 film, but I think it's obviously a lot easier to manage when you just got one individual image. But as I carried on, I sort of remembered the importance of these kind of pictures, because in the song, actually called Polaroid Picture by Frank Turner, he sort of talks about how you need to capture those moments on camera so that you can keep them forever. You can get a Polaroid picture with someone but then this time next year they might not be there. But in that moment, they are there. You, you can preserve a moment. I think it's the best way to sort of comprehend it. Just like I did with Super 8 Film, I love to sort of like capture holidays with it. So like when I went to Edinburgh with a couple of friends, I got some really nice pictures there. Same in San Francisco. It's just so much fun because it's kind of a rare treat for me because again, the film costs so much. It's about 18 pounds for a pack of eight. So I don't have it all the time, sort of every now and then I'll get some, or I might get some as a birthday or Christmas present. And it's just fun to sort of like think, ooh, what can I do with this lot? And then once I load it into a camera, I sort of think, right, I'm primed and ready. And if it's, if there's a day where there's a nice sunset or it's snowing or something, I think, right, I'm going to get a shot of that on the Polaroid camera. It's still got a lot of tension like Super 8, but the advantage is you find out the results quickly. Because with Super 8, you have to wait about a month to get it back, and it's... <laughs> It just introduces so much anxiety, but with Polaroid film, it comes straight out of the camera and you sort of need to give it 20 minutes, half an hour to develop, but you soon see it there and realise how it's come out. And again, you're not entirely sure how it's going to come out. Sometimes they don't come out, but even when they don't come out well, they can still look really cool. And I think that's one of the great things about it. If you get a picture of, say, a sunset, for example, but the film's expired or it's overexposed, the sunset can still look really cool. So I think there's every disadvantage has an advantage as well. I think the key thing for me on it is to capture moments with friends, special days, because it's a lot easier to do than Super 8 film. But I also think, again, it's that nostalgia that you get with Super 8, because we can all take photos on our iPhones and they are definitely important. But when you look at a Polaroid picture of yourself hanging out with someone, because it looks so retro, it gives you nostalgia, it makes you think back to that moment. I think that's why I love it so much more than just taking a photo with an iPhone. I think with this camera I use, I can take decent photos and like mix them up a bit, but I still prefer doing the Polaroid ones because again, it's just that nostalgic feeling you get. I just like the basic film packages. I have tried ones like black and white, black and yellow, and you know, they are their own thing. They can work very well. It's just not particularly for me. I just want to try and capture the moment as it is with a nostalgic filter. I think that's the best way to do it because I think that's how you can see it in your head. I've captured um, pictures with so many of my friends. I've got them on a wall in my room. Am I going to keep adding to it? Because it just means if you just have all those moments captured, they can never really go away. I think there's a lot of apps that like kind of do these retro filters and it kind of, a lot of people might think it makes Polaroid redundant, but I still think like, you know, using Polaroid film does have its magic that an app can't quite replicate and I think having it printed as well is such an amazing thing and I don't really like using it from an app I feel like it's cheating because part of the fun of taking Polaroid is you don't know how it's going to come out until the end but yeah I'd, I'd really encourage anyone who can to get a Polaroid camera and get photos because again I think it's a fantastic way of preserving memories just like Super 8 and I think you will find something so much more special 
than just a selfie taken on your iPhone. Again, there's nothing wrong with doing it that way, I just think doing it on Polaroid film is so much better. Anyway, that's my thoughts on Polaroid film. You can find great cameras on websites like Fujifilm and Kodak. And if you want any advice from me, please drop me a DM and I'll tell you what I know and help you in your search for a Polaroid camera and film. Thank you very much.